Hello, this is Clyde J. Kale, and welcome to Clyde's Artwork Stories. A behind-the-scenes look at why and how I create some of my artwork. Well, let's get started with this first episode. I've gotten on this uh, religious art kick. Well, I shouldn't say gotten on the religious art kick. It's uh, my uh, tribute celebration of Easter. I think too many times in our uh, secular world, we've uh, forgotten the true meaning of Easter. Also, a lot of the modern day uh, portrayal of the crucifixion, I don't want to say disgusting, but they're not very pleasing. They make Christ out, he's all nice and cleaned up and, you know, well, well formed and, and they're missing, in my opinion, the true meaning of the crucifixion. This was a man that was beaten and tortured and spat upon and just horribly dismangled according to the Bible and according to evidence from the Shroud of Turin, which I believe is the uh, true loincloth or true burial cloth of, of Jesus. And it clearly demonstrates a man who was tortured. So, in my interpretation of the crucifixion, just predominantly the head of Christ, looking up into the sky, and of course asking his heavenly Father, you know, to forgive us. I really hope that the torture and the sadness and and the the uh, true meaning of what he was experiencing comes across to you when you look at this piece. At least that's what I was uh, I was attempting to portray. I went ahead and decided to uh, do a second piece, and with the second piece, it's a little more artsy than uh, than my style. But I wanted to show the sorrow of Mary, his mother. You know, she's she's holding Christ, and you know, the classic pose. He has been taken down off the cross, and and I, again, I wanted to show his body as being mangled and and horribly uh, beaten. You know to get that, that expression across. I've had some people ask me about my uh, technique or I don't really call it a technique, but how I uh, create uh, these watercolors. I'll start out with a pencil sketch and then lay down a wash of ink, sometimes with a brush, sometimes with a uh, sharp stick and over the top of, of the pencil. And then when that's dry, I'll erase all the pencil marks and then proceed with laying down a light color wash, just a basic color. Sometimes I'll uh, let the color come through, sometimes not. It just depends on how, how the piece progresses. Also, uh, laying the color wash down on top of the ink, it, it dims out or uh, uh, takes the brightness of the ink out, but it also causes the ink to come through. I really like that. I really enjoy that. These aren't original techniques. I saw some YouTube videos of some artists doing this and I thought it was uh, really interesting. So I, uh, so I tried it and I hope I've been successful. At least I think I've been successful. And then on, the, uh, on this third piece, I w was completely uh, made up out of my mind, but I wanted to show that the tomb of Christ, you know, is empty, that he has, he has risen, which is the whole meaning of Easter. And, you know, the two ladies in the far distance, they haven't arrived at the tomb yet, but uh, they're soon, they see the tomb is open and his burial cloth is just laying, is all that's left. After I've uh, reached a certain point with the color and I've pretty much, I've added all the darks and then some of the some of the light you know light colors and everything then i'll go back over with a uh, sharpie uh, pen and uh, add some detail here and there with with the pen sometimes a lot sometimes a little i just kind of play by ear in fact i act, actually i have to stop myself now, i have kind of a I guess you call it an out of body experience sometimes when i'm just going away i see my hands just working away and it's like i'm watching I'm an outsider watching and in anticipation of what it's going to look like and hardly wait to see 
what it's going to look like. This too, it also causes me to rush sometimes. So I have to stop myself. I found out that when I stop myself and uh, go away from a piece, a few hours, a day or so, and then come back to it, have fresh eyes, and it seems like it, it comes out better. And from what I've been seeing on YouTube and other sources and talking with others, I guess other artists have this problem too. You have to uh, stop sometimes and then come back with fresh eyes. I hope you enjoy this video and a little bit about a little bit of background, a behind the scenes look of uh, how I create some of my art. All my art is available for prints and homeware items from findamerica.com, artpal.com, and society6.com. The links are at www.mpr-otr.com and just click on the uh, Clyde's artwork menu. Hopefully you will see something that you like. All my work is up there that I've been doing. I plan to do five, uh, five or six pieces every week. So there's always something new that's going to be uh, placed every week. All the originals, they're 11 by 15 watercolor paper. That's a sturdy watercolor paper, so it's uh, very durable. They are available for sale, but you have to contact me uh, via private email to negotiate. The prices are very reasonable between $100 and $300 or so. And uh, it just depends on which piece you want and uh, if we have to frame it and whatnot. But you can contact me. The email address is cjkl at sign mystery otr.com. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and hopefully I'll be able to do some more. Bye-bye.